right. They don't have a restaurant or a cafe. Maybe you can get coffee and tea here or whatever, but so we're gonna go pick up some drinks and see what we can see in pie. Oh my. It's crazy super hot out. We were gonna wait to go to the night market, but we're both getting a little bit hungry. So we're gonna go explore main town. Huh. So this is just some of the back roads here in pie. whether you can or can't. Like. Here, this is the Pai Bamboo Bridge back there. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll take you closer. And then behind us, there's like the big, there's some restaurants and a walking street. So we've just come out to grab a bite. And this was here. And I remember seeing a video about it. So we're gonna go take a little peek. This is all made of bamboo. And as you can see, this gentleman is currently doing some repairs. You gonna walk on it? Sure. <laughs> huh? Yeah, it is. Looks like it. So there's the bamboo bridge there that Leon was just walking on. The Pie River Corner Resort Restaurant. Kampuka. Thank you. So we just got two beers. We're gonna check it out. We got our little friend over here. So we got the chicken pesto panini, which looks great. And Leon has this, which looks great. What is it? This is a Penang curry. And if you're a curry fan, um, like I am, then this is one of my go-to curries. I really like the green curry here in Thailand as well, but Penang probably just edges it as my favorite. Here is very spicy. Yeah, she it told does you. Vary. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It does vary wherever you go, yeah. But yeah, it's a, it's a great curry if you're looking for something In like that. In Thailand, you must always remember that if it says mild, that is like it to be hot and yeah. spicy. Because even if you like hot and spicy, like Thailand is next level. Sun's starting to set up there. So we are coming in here to pay. I have a little bit of sandwich left for later. Here. Pai is really well known for it's its here. huge artistic community and also for phenomenal live music. So it it's so beautiful, look. It's just set up here. Nice. Our car is parked there, score, so I'm going to leave this there and we're going to walk for the nightlife. That's not bad for antenna. Yeah, <laughs> for sure. Okay, so we'll go put this in the car. This is the Hostel Music and Bros. This one, you can stay here. And it's also a hostel. <laughs> So far, drinks are good. <laughs> so is the music. Happy hour. So is the vibe. <laughs> yeah, and the band's great. Yeah. that we were just at is right here on the left. You can go this way. Oh, this place has a lot of international. Very cute in there. Which 
fishing mall. What do they have here? way or this way and there's lots of scooters people we're gonna go this way so the little hostel is here and we're gonna walk down straight to the left which is the night market that looks really cute Mm -hmm. Clearly the tipsy tubing is a big deal here. <laughs> oh, the sun is setting, it's so pretty. And you can get a scooter for a hundred baht for 24 hours. Here, there's so many of them. <laughs> Beautiful jewelry in here, very lovely. Oh, well, we're gonna have to come back and look here, babe. Yeah, look at the bracelets. Ooh la la. Now we're speaking my language. Oh look, the tree of life. Look, oh, and it's got the ring piece. Oh, I want a bracelet that has the ring piece where it attaches from your bra your bracelet to your ring. You get one? Oh, so pretty. Mostly. Yeah, they are nice. I like that The happy hour here is start is till nine. Yeah. <laughs> it's like six till nine here, so you know it's party town. If happy hour lasts till nine, it's usually it's bad, like eh? seven. <laughs> so that is exactly where we were sitting. We're just across the water right now, over here, just sitting on a little bench. Leon and I grabbed a beer at the Seven Eleven, and we're gonna sit here and wait to go check out that jazz bar after. We just went walking down the main market area and um, it's really beautiful, but it is just a small strip. Uh, Pai is not a very big area in general. Mm -hmm. And um, you can find a little bit of everything, meat and sweets. We tried our best to film it for you guys. but So the, the walking street itself, it, it's really nice. I, I would yeah. recommend um, a visit. You can find a lot of sweets, a lot of different things. They're actually just setting up now. We're just hoping not to have a late night tonight. So It's, it's nice because it's not it's not like claustrophobic like i find like the walking streets we've been to before like pataya can feel a little bit closed you know the buildings are a bit higher there's cables everywhere but here it's everything's low level there's lots of bars it's very arty artsy and i really like how green everything is like there is just so much green here so i think that's really nice as well yeah it got some tulum vibes i think yeah, I'm a little apprehensive to film, guys. Look, I'm trying to decide if I'm going to let my gray, which is actually like totally silver, grow in. And um, I'm still in the in-between. Yes, yeah, so I'm trying to decide what to do. I want to encourage everyone to grow your natural. Leon uh, dones it so beautifully, you know, so I think we'd be kind of cute, matchy-matchy. But yeah, for now, it's kind of awkward. <laughs> Just chill in here. There's the car and all the party stuff's up there. And we were just sitting back that way. Just back there. <laughs> and, you know, this is kind of the dilemma. We had a really nice time, but we have a really beautiful hotel and we have some exploring we want to do. We're going to drive home from Pai all the way back to Doi Sakit in Chiang Mai. And the dilemma is do you go out? Do you go back and chill? Like we have work to do, so yeah. 
I think that's what we're gonna do. We're so gonna I have American up. Idol to watch. <laughs> yeah. I know it seems like beautiful and it is and I'm so glad that we have this lifestyle but the thing is when you travel a lot and when you're constantly in new and different locations um, you know it for us it's finding that balance of work and life and because we're living in the places that we're visiting and we're constantly visiting and constantly living and changing um, yeah, you got to find that balance of home life, work life, and, you know, being out and about, so. Not yeah. every day is a holiday. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Even though it seems like that, we do actually work a lot. And we work a lot on social media, our blogs, and our YouTube channels, and our teaching. We teach English, um, and we mentor in, in English as well. And we're both writers and authors. We've got so many projects on the go. So traveling is phenomenal and amazing but there's only so many hours in a day, you know? Wake us up, let's do it, babe. I love the reflection in the water, it's so pretty. So this is a hotel room on number two. This one has bathrobes, which is really nice. I love that. Beautiful work area, nice king size bed. It's got, uh, this is the swim up pool area. So just over there is um, the hostel bar that we went to. It's just over there. And where we were parking our car is just down here with the Pi River and the Bamboo Bridge. And there's another main street here. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> thank you, Kapka. This is Leon's eggs benedict. Eggs benedict. This is my American breakfast. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you, Kapka. Fruit for Jen. And I love how they, like, oh, when they cut it, it looks like hearts or lips all the time. I can't get that little bracelet and ring out of my mind. So Leon and I just finished up some breakfast. I have some leftovers to eat in the car, make a little egg sandwich. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna go check and see how it feels on my body and what the price is. I wasn't even expecting it, but uh, it's perfect. We stopped and I took a peek and yeah, so I'm gonna get one of the bracelets and it's 280 baht. It's like a bracelet and a ring and she wouldn't yeah, negotiate. I Usually I don't ever negotiate because I feel really uncomfortable doing that. Like in Canada, we just, it's not how it goes. The price is the price. and. Um, yeah, so I was like, could you do 250? And she's like, no, 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 280. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, that's all I got, but I'm learning. Go back, enjoy the pool a little bit, and then we'll, we'll head back and pick it up on our way out. So I went back and got the bracelet. So this is the Tree of Life. Um, I actually, last time I bought a bracelet with the Tree of Life logo was in Istanbul. And we went in and got it. She was really sweet. She gave me a, a discount. Where are we going? I was saying 200 meters. Head south. 
is the one of the big white Buddha here. With the stairs. It's interesting this wall. It's interesting how the wall has like the peekaboo kind of crosses in it. Do you see that? I'm not really sure why that is. If you guys know, you can let me know in the comments. Just showed you guys that I stopped and went to pick up this bracelet, right? Tree of Life. Okay. So this is the very first time that in all of my travels in Thailand that I have come across a Buddha in front of the Tree of Life. That is absolutely incredible. Incredible. And so to me, signs and symbols are everywhere. I literally am on my way leaving Pai. Just bought this bracelet and here I see Buddha. Here is my offering and um, you guys can obviously decide to see life how you choose to but um, the fact that I've never seen this before and it's moments after I just purchased a bracelet the tree of life that for me is significant look at her she's so beautiful I don't know what the symbolism is on her head but you guys do you know what that is so yeah we're here at the witch house this place is interesting. I mean, we are literally on the only road from Pai to Chiang Rai, kind of in the middle of nowhere. There is a cafe along the highway and it's called uh, the Witch House. Look behind. You see? There's like a lot of witches here. I think it's really cool though. Hey buddy. Going on there, interesting. <laughs> Jen filming the witches. Witches all together. She has got powers, you know. She wouldn't mind me saying that. I don't think we'll find out later. <laughs> <laughs> I'll show you around. So, this is the menu. Very cool. <laughs> What a cute little cafe. Love it. So nice. This is a grape soda. Mm -hmm. This is a blueberry, blueberry soda. soda. And they're very good. They're 60 baht each, which is like basically like a dollar fifty at the Witch Cafe, which is just kind of like randomly here uh, in the middle of the curvy mountains that we're going up and down on this uh, crazy route from Pai back to Chiang Rai. So yeah, it's great. Really Cheers. cool. Nice theme. Yeah, nice Cheers. stop. <laughs> Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out our shop at closerlives.com or you can also find us on Etsy at Closer Lives Emporium.